WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of mostly sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and currently we've got a bit of a mixed bag out there. It goes like this. The Dow is up four points. The S&P is off 15. NASDAQ 100 down 135. That's 1%. Russell is flat. Uh, the semis are off 59 points. That's nearly 2% to the downside. Trend is up 65, so we definitely have a mixed bag. You've got gold trading up 17 bucks, silver 22 cents, light trade crude up a buck 69, natural gas up a penny, 30 year treasury down 10 ticks, trading out at 130.01. Let's try to figure out what all that means by taking a look at that nine panel market update chart. Begin with the ES Mini upper left hand side, it has a sell the D point pattern. Price, though, not really doing much, just trading sideways. It is back inside its profile. The number to be watching today is 4,007. That's what it continues to try to take out. It has been unable to do that. It should be able to do that. Why should it be able to do that, Steve? Oh, well, we've got that spot volatility that's well below its 50-day exponential moving average. That says surprises should move to the upside. Now, the NQ has a Rhodes momentum indicator top. It completed that pattern two, four days ago, five days ago. And not until it closes, price closes above 13082, will that pattern get negated? Price is above the top of its daily profile. I'm looking at my other chart. It's below its green oscillator and change line. And so, therefore, a close today below about 12,731 would tell us that the NQ has lost its momentum and it should get back to test support. And that would beat the 12,459 level when we take a look at the daily chart. Daily chart for the U.S. dollar index, it's uh, got a, uh, a, a Gartley buy pattern. But it's been unable to get above the center of its bullish structure profile, 102.82. That's the price you need to see a close above to suggest a dollar rally up to 104.40. So price may just be pulling back to test support. And that's at the 101.87 level. That's the bottom of its daily profile. In the case of Goldilocks out here, uh, gold is trading right now above the top of its daily profile, which is 19.59. Uh, so no reason for it to not to for it to not continue to move higher. If we take a look at silver out here, silver's got a A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. It's got a TD9 count top. That TD9 count top, I believe I'll have to go back and look at it. I think that formed on March the 24th. That says that that 2370 level would be the area that price needs to take out. Well, there's a bear structure daily profile that's attempting to form right now. And that has resistance at 2351 and support down at 2216. So you still have a top out there, but no levels of support have been broken for silver. Lights be crude. It did, uh, it's got an A to B equal CD pattern. The upside, 7413 74, is the first target. 7612 would be target number two. And yesterday, natural gas negated. It's Rhodes Wintum Indicator Bottom for the daily time frame. We'll take a look at natural gas during the Trader's Ed Show for ELO inside our Tiger's Den. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show, but if you have to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.